And we are live. Familia, thank you so much for your patience. I know that you all were patiently waiting, me, waiting for me to get started. And I want to thank you for your patience because I ran into some technical issues. Again, I, I, moving from this studio to the one where I record the Grinch uh, series is challenging because my whole setup changes and then I have to remember my settings. Anyway, that's not, <laughs> that's not your problem. That's mine. And I finally got it fixed. If you can hear me okay, please give me a thumbs up in the live chat. Is the microphone too loud? You let me know. As we get started with uh, episode one of season three, uh, I was going to do episodes one and two today, but i um, running a little bit short on time. I have to co I have a couple of things to take care of. Our water heater is is down at the moment, and so we have no hot water. Anyway, I gotta I gotta figure all that out stuff. So so I need I need a little bit more time. So we're gonna do episode one today, and we're gonna do episode two tomorrow. Okay, same time. Well hopefully on time tomorrow <laughs> i might just record the next grinch song here so i don't have to set up like reset up everything over there and then bring it back over here uh but okay cool i'm getting some thumbs up we're good here shout out to musings of the winged heart shout out to tammy erica is in the house hermanita dorian is in the house mj sabi in the house we got joanne in the house good to see you joanne thank you so much for joining us uh who else do we have in the house here we have shri patel in the house welcome linda linda's in the house grace if there are any prayer requests you can make them now make them in the comment section oh jackie's here as well oh it's too late she says really sad i'm so sorry um but if you have any prayer requests make them in the live chat now and as you're reading the prayer requests if you all the rest of you can offer a prayer to those people just so we can spread some goodness uh spread some pr prayer and while you do that i just want to let you know all know that today's video is brought to you by angel studios this is a um a sponsor that we we picked up um and the main thing that i want to let you know about that about angel studios is that every single episode of season three will be available on the the angel studios app um including well this one and the previous episodes um this is a this is an app that you can download on your on all your devices on your phone on your ipads on, on your computer even which is where we're going to watch it from today um within the angels angel studios app you'll be able to enjoy all the seasons of chosen of the chosen including the new episodes on your phone and every major streaming device um what we want you to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description down below to download the angel studios app uh where you can enjoy other shows like um like the Wind Feather Saga, Tuttle Twins, Testament, Dry Bar Comedy, Freelance, Freelancers, Jungle Beat, and more. These are all shows that are are uh, meant. These are uplift, uplifting stories that are meant to amplify light, which is what we're about. So thank you all so much for for joining us, Christopher. Thank you for joining us, a new member. We appreciate you so much for your love and support. All right, family. If we if we're ready to get started, let's uh let's get started. Get get a. Uh, Get, get comfortable because we're going to, you know how it is. We're going to dance. Ah, when they dance, when it's time to dance, we're going to dance. So go ahead and stretch a little bit. If you haven't already hit the like button, it'll help the channel out loud and it'll bring people who are running late. It'll send them a reminder and uh, bring them on. And if you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. I appreciate you so much for joining us. Now I'm going to press play. If there are any issues with the volume, I have it set at max. But if there's any issue with the volume, just let me know. I can always turn my mic down some more. Here we go. Let me know. Is that, a, is that good? Can you hear it okay? Joanne, we're with you and we pray for you. excited Alpheus by your own yes we're 20 days past your deadline for this quarter's tribute your collector has transferred your case to the Roman office are you able to pay your tribute penalty now I filed an extension in the month I'll take of... that as a no by decree appoint this honorable praetor of Capernaum I will remand you into custody I'm very sorry I didn't realize turn around sir I didn't realize May I request an extension of just five days? I'm oh. guessing no. Alpheus, who is it? Everything's fine, Elisheba. Please, I beg you. <laughs> mm. I have... He's not here. I can settle this, Lucius. 
There's actually been a mistake. What do you mean? Oh, harsh. You told me to come. I'm aware, but I realized the timelines were miscalculated. I will clear it up. Thank you. You. Look at his face. I received inaccurate information, and I, it's being corrected right now. I will handle this. It would be best if we went to our next house, and I will meet you at the booth in one hour. Oh my goodness. Are you? It, it isn't prudent to discuss this right now, Abba. You don't have first the shame of your choice. And now you're actually my collective. Oof. Matthew? What are you doing here? Your son is our Publicanus. Matthew, no. He sent a soldier to your home. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to know. I didn't choose this district. You chose this job. Oof. The Romans never forced you into it. You chose to apply. You chose to betray. You chose a secure future. You are called to trust in Adonai with all your heart and not lean on your own. I have trusted. Understanding. Can you name one thing Adonai has done for our people? In a hundred years? Five hundred? You. And the blasphemy. Well, you owe your government two months of tribute. I will bring in a payment by the end of the week. Ah. Uh. You've missed two payments. <laughs> Just to add salt on the wound. You, but I will no longer protect you. I don't want your protection. <sighs> then you have 24 hours, Abba. Don't call me, Abba. Your face, please. What? Ellie, cover the windows. Put on your veil. We will sit Shiva for seven days. I have no son. Oh, okay. So this is harsh. By the way, Familia, we do pause here, okay? I'm going to pause. There are several reasons why we do that. One is because I like to discuss things as we go along, analyze things. I'm assuming that you've already seen this. If you haven't yet seen this, this will probably drive you crazy. I'd recommend that you go watch it first and then come back and watch it here with us because we, we like to discuss these things, right? And the second reason that I pause is because... I, uh, things like this, they get copyrighted. If I play it all the way through without stopping it, they're going to say, what are you doing? You're just having a watch party. You can't, uh, you know, you can't do that. That's a big no-no. And then I don't want to get a strike against the channel. And so we want to make sure that we do things right, right? But this is harsh because this is a flashback, right? We're having uh, Matthew who's, who's choosing to secure a future for himself. So he chose a job that he knew was going to be secure, right? There's always work. People always are always going to get taxed, right? As we know, today, we still get taxed. And so he he chose safety. His father is not happy about that decision. And there's a lot of things. It's not that Matthew sent his the guards to his, to his house, right? Matthew's just doing his job. And we've heard that many times, right? People just doing their jobs without realizing what, what effect they have on... <clears throat> on the community, on their country, but we won't go there. Um, but the, the father is, first of all, he's embarrassed that his son is a tax collector. And now to add more salt to the wound, he's not just a tax collector, he's his tax collector. And so I'm assuming, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that there's a feeling of, of shame, right? So he said shame, but what, what other feelings could be arising in his father? Like that anger has to be built boiling within him, right? So uh, this isn't my first, sorry, uh, Shri Patel, this isn't my first time reacting to the, to the, to the uh, episode. I've seen episodes one and two in theaters, so I, I more or less know <clears throat> what's going on. This is more of a, of a watch party than it is a, a, a reaction, because I have not seen episodes three and on, so we'll react to those. But um, what other feelings do you think the father is feeling here? Um, and him asking him, like, don't even call me father, as far as I'm concerned, I have no son. Oh, goodness. Th those words must be, um, those words must be stabbing, you know? I forgot where I saw this quote, but there's a quote that says that like the sword, the tongue can draw blood without ever cutting or something, something to that effect. I'm paraphrasing there, but the, the, the tongue can cut just as deeply as a sword, right? Um, and we have to mind our tongue, but uh, yeah, he, so I see guilt, embarrassment, right? Tax collectors like Matthew would often 
overcharge people and keep keep the excess. That's terrible. I don't see that he's doing that to his dad, but I mean, it's it's his job, right? It's his job. Um, you feel also where did I go wrong to raise this boy up? Yeah, Matthew's their only son. Oh, his only son, their only line of the family name. He do- and he does this. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's another one, another view. Um, uh, betrayed. That's right. Feels betrayed. Disappointment. Guilt betrayal that's a big thing right especially for families back then they were very proud of their lineage they were proud of of their future and so they made sure that you know if if there was a family trade that they would teach their young ones the family trade so that that trade can continue and grow and expand and and all that right so that new generations had something to to continue building on so that had to have been tough right regret is a big one too all right cool so let's uh let's let's continue What do you think he's feeling to hear that? I have no son. Mm. And the music. You have heard that hear it was rumble. said to those of old. Flashback. You shall not murder. Flash forward. And whomever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. So if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Did this talk to anyone? (laughs) Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food? (laughs) And the body more than clothing? Message. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? (laughs) And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? Wow. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things. And your heavenly Father knows you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things will be added to you. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Judge not that you be not judged. How is he doing? With the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. The words are the same as written, but... No, he's saying them. Yes. Ah, pause. Sorry, before we get to dancing. I just want to just want to point something out. There's something important. I can't let that go uh, without touching on that. Familia, there's so much to learn so much to pick out from this. I I, want to almost just make a whole other video just on this one small segment alone, because when Jesus is talking here, he's talking about our minds and how, and how we can continuously worry how the mind is continuously worried about where where, where we're going to get the next meal from, where we're going to eat from, what should we wear, what should we drink, what should we eat. And it's ongoing, 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 ongoing. And he says, how many of you, by, by worrying, by being anxious, how many of you are adding even another extra hour to life? In fact, you're wasting time by worrying about, by worrying about things. There's, there's so much to learn here, but the main thing that I wanted to point out was that he's telling us to go from this, from this state of constant 
anxiety, the state of constant overthinking, of dwelling on the past, of dwelling about the future, fearing the future, do, dwelling uh, on on the things that on the people that hurt us, on the on the things that happened to us in the past, that we miss out. When we do that, we miss out on so much because life is still going, life is still moving along, right? And it's pointing what I, what I find interesting about this, or the way that I took it. I'm not trying to impose what I took out of it onto you, but I just want to share how I how how it spoke to me and see if it didn't speak the same to you. He's what he's doing here is he's showing me. I'm going to say me. He's showing me not to be in my mind, not to be stuck in here, but to go deeper within and be in my spirit to seek to seek the kingdom first and the mind if the mind seeks the kingdom the mind will go and look for things on earth because the mind only knows what it knows from what it's learned from the senses what it's seen what it's heard that's why it questions certain things why that's why it becomes an atheist that's why it be, it falls for cults and false teachings because it want when it seeks the kingdom of heaven it only seeks the things that will pacify its own burdens and also things that will satisfy satisfy its own desires right it's a, its own addictions to to substances to people to to things right that's what it seeks but it's saying but what i feel like he's telling me is go deeper within seek the kingdom of heaven this stuff comes to pass it passes it comes and goes look at the birds the birds are taken care of. They're not worried about tomorrow, like the song says, right? Or like, like it says in scripture, they're not worried about tomorrow. They're taken care of. And are you not more special, me? Or am I not more special than that? Then what do I have to worry about? Would he not take care of me if I put all my faith in him, right? Which is what Matthew's mom says to Matthew right before uh, she leaves. She said, like, like, trust in him. You're supposed to have your faith in him and not trust on your own understanding. Again, your own understanding. You're not supposed to just rely completely on here because this lies to you. It lies to you. It lies to you because it has its own desires, its own, its own wants, and it uses you. It uses your power, your energy, power. Take that word lightly, please. It uses your will to get to satisfy its own desires. Whereas if you were to sit deep, if you were to sit firmly in your in your spirit, in your soul. You need you you want and need for nothing. You want for nothing when you're sitting there. Why? Because he feeds he feeds you. He sustains you. He holds you. And that's what I feel like he's saying. He's saying in that in that piece of that sermon. I'm gonna go back a tiny little bit, and uh, and then we're gonna dance. Here we go. Can add a single hour to his span of life. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying. What shall we eat? What shall we drink? So what we... shall we wear? What? For the Gentiles seek all these things. And your heavenly father knows you need them all. Your heavenly father knows that you need them all. Sorry, I didn't switch over to this. Uh, sorry, I meant to switch over to this. Um, it, it's the delivery as well. Therefore, do not be anxious. Saying, don't saying, be, don't be worried. What shall we eat? What shall we do? Don't be anxious. Don't be in your head saying, what's next? What's next? What should we eat? What should we think? Like always constantly saying, what's next? What's next? What's next? Be here. What's now? Have we ever asked that? What's now? What's here? Isn't there a passage? Hopefully somebody can help me find it. But isn't there a passage that says that even like that there are people who can predict the weather, right? That they know they look to, to, to the weather and they can predict that there's rain coming, right? Predicting, meaning they know what's coming in the future, right? But how many people can interpret the present moment? There's a scripture. If somebody can please help me find that. Please help me find that because that's kind of what I'm getting from this. That he's saying like just here right now drink what shall we wear don't be here For don't be here and don't be in the world trying to fit into what it what it uh into its its trends right trying to keep up trying to be be like everybody else i don't know how else to word that it'll come to me the gentiles seek all these things 
And your heavenly father knows you need them all. The Gentiles seek. Everybody's looking for these things, but the heavenly father knows that you need them. He knows what you need. But seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first. And his righteousness. All these things will be added to I, I heard this beautiful quote the other day that said, this guy says that he, he, he sees things like planting seeds. He doesn't, he knows that he just goes out and he puts in the work without, without worrying about the result, the end result of what he's going to get back from his work. He says, it's like planting seeds. Some seeds are going to hit, some are, some are not. He says, but when he doesn't think about the results, when he's not invested in, in the results, then everything that comes to him is a gift because he wasn't expecting it. So whether it's a little or whether it's a lot, it doesn't matter because he wasn't expecting that. He was only putting in the work. And what comes is everything that's added to him is a gift. And that gift is from, from our Father. To you. I love that. Seek first the kingdom of heaven so and his righteousness and everything will be added to you. Do, to you. do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Judge not that you be not judged how is he doing? For with the judgment you pronounce, Sir, you will be judged. The words are the same as written, but... Now he's will saying them. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful, let's do it. You ready, Familia? You know what to do. If you don't know what to do, just watch what everybody else does. Let's see those emojis. That was Matthew 16. I'm gonna look it up. In the water. Let's go. If you're in your homes, dance like a silly goose. Come here, bring baby Zeke. Baby Zeke in the house. <laughs> He's dancing too. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. No matter where you find yourself, dance. 17. Beautiful. Oh. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. And if anyone should slap you on your right cheek, turn and give him the other one also. And if anyone would sue you, uh. then take your tunic. Let them have your cloak as well. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love, love your, your enemies. enemies. And pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. Question: How do you? How are you sons of your Father that are in heaven? Who's in heaven? What's what's the what's the message here? There's a there's a formula, if you will. I don't want to. I don't know if it's the word, wrong word, but there's a formula here. How do you become sons and daughters of your, of your Father who are who's in heaven? L love your enemies. Why does he say if someone takes? takes your or ask for your shirt give them your cloak as well why does he say that can somebody answer that why does he say that what's the what's the reason for him saying these things and if anyone should slap you on your right cheek turn and give him the other one also why why is he saying that most people won't most people won't turn the other cheek and 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 offer the other cheek right but why why is he asking this? There's a very specific reason why he's asking me. I'm not even saying you. Why he's, look, at, look at this. this is, would you look at this? He, there's a very specific reason why he's asking me to do this. To turn the other cheek when somebody hits me. There's a reason why he's saying that if somebody takes my shirt, give him my coat too. There's a reason why he says that he wants me to love my enemies. Why? Why? Why does he? What? Why is he saying, "Love the love"? And I'm sorry. Pray for those who persecute you. Why? 
The other day we were on the road every single time. Now, before I used to get upset before you had my little not road rage. Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, curse people or anything, but every, every time somebody cuts me off, I, I get, I got upset. I used to get upset. And, and now I find myself whenever somebody's speeding by, instead of getting upset, I, 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 I pray, for, I, I pray for them. I pray for him, for them. And every single person that is going to encounter that human being on his way to wherever it is that he's, he's rushing off to. And it feels great. It feels better than anger. It feels better than anger. So why, why is he saying it? it's metaphorical, but to me, it's about getting to the heart of it all, not let legalism, but heart and uh, heart and love. Christ did the first, did this first as an example of how we should act because love will heap coals burn upon another person's conscience, a sign of true humility. You become a witness to him. Here's because you become more like Jesus. Why? Why is it important for us to become more like Jesus? And I'm not talking about reward. I'm not talking about because we're going to get to heaven at the end. I'm going to speak for myself when I say that I don't, it's not, that's not important to me. Becoming like him is important to me, but the reward is not important to me. What's important to me is to live like him. And it's not beneficial, if that makes sense. The reason why Jesus is asking me to do this, the reason why he tells me to give, give more, if somebody takes my shirt to give my clothes, is because what does this matter? What is this? I'm not taking this with me. What does him offending me mean? If I if I hurt him back, that I'm leaving that behind. That becomes me. When he when a, when my when my fellow man slaps me in the face and and performs a violent act towards me, if it, and if I'm filled with rage because he did this to me, the moment that I strike him back, I now became what I hated. And in that instant, that moment, now I'm violent. Now I'm committing a violent act. Act. And now I am him. I became what I despised. I became what I hate. Right? So for me, he's, he's, he's not just laying the, 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 the blueprint for how I should behave, but, but he's also telling me that, that this world, what happens in this world, let it happen. Let it be what it is. Walk with God. Pray for the people because... Maybe they're not walking with God yet, but pray for them that they walk with him as well. Right? Anyway, that, that's that's what's important about that. I'll I'll, I'll go. I'll try to do fewer pauses here, but this, this episode is great. And take your tunic. Let them have your cloak as well. You have heard that it was said, it you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. So that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. Because there's no hate in heaven. There's no place for hate in heaven. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye? But do not notice the log in your own eye. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then. Like this. Oh, this Our is Father in so heaven. great. Hallowed be your name. And if anyone should force you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Go the extra mile. Your kingdom come. Your will. Your will be, be done. done, not mine. On earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Oh. I love this episode. Forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. Do we? Have we? Have we forgiven our debtors? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. There it is. Where moth and rust destroy, and thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. The music so where great. Where neither moth nor rust destroys. And where thieves do not break in that state. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Oh! <laughs> Everyone who hears these words of mine 
and does not do them. Uh, uh, your heart, familia, your heart is a treasure. Your heart, Archie Boy is barking. He, he, he agrees. Your heart is a treasure. Your heart is a treasure. Don't, don't make your, your, don't stack up your treasures here. This passes. Everything passes. You're only setting yourself up for, for, for pain and suffering when your treasure gets stolen, when it gets eaten by moths, when it goes from your hands to the hands of someone else, or when you pass and you can't bring them to you, bring them with you. You're only setting yourself up for, for pain. It doesn't mean you can't have nice things. It just means to, to always remember that more importantly are your treasures that you're storing up in, in the kingdom. And those treasures, you, you add to it the more you become, the more that you sit in his heart, the more that you allow him to be in your heart because where your treasures are, your heart will also be there. I, I, wish, I, wish more, I wish people would get out of their minds and not try to understand that intellectually, not try to intellectualize that and say, wow, that's awesome. That sounds great. And then make an image of what is being said. And then that image becomes the representation because you're not holding the, the actual truth itself. If you're making an image for it, you're only holding a representation of it. I wish you would get out of that world of, the Im of images, step into your spirit and see what is being said firsthand that your heart is a treasure so long as he is in your heart. And you'll know that he's in your heart by what's coming out of you. A lot of people you'll notice in my older videos, You'll notice in my older videos in the comment section, people are saying, hey, he's knocking on your door. Let him in. He's knocking in your door. Let him in. He's knocking on your door. Let him in. And I'm saying this. He's knocking in your door. Let him out. Let him out. He wants to love through you. He wants to, to be kind to people through you. He wants to touch people's hearts through you. But you get in the way. You intellectualize things. You who's seeking the, tr the treasures here on earth. You who's after, who, who loves him because you're, you're after that heaven. You're after that, the carrot. That. Forget about the carrot. Be here. Seek first this. And all of that's going to be added onto you. What's more? Let me ask you a question here really quickly. What's more important to you? What's more important to you? Christ? Or heaven. And before you get super technical and say they're one in the same. No, I'm saying if you had to split split the two and separate them, what's more important to you? Christ or heaven? If you could get Christ without the heaven portion of it, would you take it? Would you take it? And if so, then whatever you, well, I'm going to speak for myself, whatever I have to do so that I'm not distracted by heaven and rewards and all that, I'm going to follow him because that's where heaven is in him. And if he's in here, then my treasure will also be there. My heart is, 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 is in him and he is in me. I, I, I love this episode, man. This is, this is probably one of my favorite episodes. Too bad they didn't do the whole Sermon on the Mount. I would have loved that. But the way that they're, that they're cutting back and forth and the way he's delivering it, I think is fantastic. Excellent delivery on this. We'll be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house. And it fell. Great was the fall of it. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Any man who listens to his words and does them and applies them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. If you don't do what he's saying, you're being extremely foolish. And I'm not saying go out there and tell people they're being foolish for building their house on the sand, on the things that dissolve. 
on the things that pass away, on the things that are not permanent. I'm not telling you to go judge people and tell them that, but you do it first. You do it first. People will see. People will look at you and see that there's something different about you. That when somebody cuts you off, they're like, dude, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. And then you say, man, God, God protect him and everyone else around him. And they see. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to honk my own horn by here, by the way, at all. But that you do the right thing. Always. That you do the Christ thing. Forget the right thing. That you do the Christ thing. If so, if you all can be agree with me, not, not, I'm sorry, not agree with me. If you can, can, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, if we can come to an agreement, if we can, if we can all work together and vow, make a commitment that I will do the Christ thing. I will do the Christ thing. The world is going to start being a little bit better, familia, if we all just do the Christ thing. Let's go. <laughs> and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. What's the winds? What are the winds? Sorry, sorry. I love this episode so much. What are the winds? What are the winds? I'm going to tell you my winds right now. My boiler. No hot water. That's a wind. Stepfather. Still blaming me for things. That's a wind. Other troubles that have come. I don't want to get too personal or too deep. Other troubles that are coming. That have come. Working on something only to have it to be destroyed. Working on something only to have it not be rejected. Right? Working really hard on something only for it to be blocked. Those are wins. Those are the wins. That are trying to push up against my house. But I'm firmly, firmly built on a really strong foundation. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. It's not an easy road, but, but you, but your road can't be harder than Jesus's. <laughs> and he's, he's walked some, he walked a challenging road. So if you if you allow him to walk on this road with you, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Did you ever hear of anything like that? Well, not that kind. Not of you. He spoke with actual authority. His own, not from someone else. Yes, almost above the law. Uh. <laughs> he said, how they neither toil See, nor spin. All his surrounding was not like one of these. <laughs> More ideas just coming into his head. And he has a choice of what he's going to do with the things he's hearing. Judas. Is he going to fight against it? I die. I lost you. Did you find those guys? I stood with his followers. Could you see the look on people's faces? I've never seen a crowd so moved. They turn the other cheek and lay up your treasures to heaven. Business was a little naive, but this man has talent. No, I've never seen anything He's, like it. Could you imagine if he sold for us? I died. Why didn't they take up the collection? They could be living like kings. I'm going with them. What? I'm leaving. I quit. I'm going with his followers. Where? I don't know. To the ends of the earth. Everywhere this message needs to be heard. I'll sue you. Go I'll ahead. Announce my shares. Then I'll sue him. <laughs> there is nothing you could take from him that'd be of any value to you. What does he have to give you then?
Good luck, Hedad. Jesus just spreading seeds. And some people, some of their, their ground wow. isn't going to blossom or, bl or give My anything. Exactly. See you in the morning then for our report to Quintus. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> Thank you, Eva. Mm. Oh, thank you. I was able to write down many of the new things you said, but not all of them. That's fine. I'll <laughs> say them again. We can discuss them then. I recognize some of them from my studies of the teachings of Rabbi Hillel. It's very good, Matthew. When you said to be reconciled to your brother, <laughs> can you elaborate on Matthew. that? <laughs> Perhaps we can talk about this some other time. Very hungry, and I would love to chat with our new friend about a few things. Our new friend? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I can come back. No, 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 it's okay. I'm gathering everyone together shortly. I would love to speak with you. Matthew, can you help James and John gather the others? Right now? Hmm. Matthew. Thank you for helping me. Oh. Yes. Okay, two things. Imagine that you're going to have a party at your house. And before the party happens, someone tells you that there's a guest and they name him. They just say his name is Judas. That that guest is going to come into your house and when he leaves, he's going to take something very valuable from your house. He's going to take something very valuable from your house. And imagine having to, to, to meet that person, greet that person at the door. Oh, wait, back up a little. And that Jesus says, you have to let him. You have to let him take that valuable thing. You don't even know what it is, but you have to, you have to let him take that valuable thing. Now imagine greeting him at the door the moment that he comes, that the party, the day of the party is. Greeting him at the door and saying, welcome, my friend. Come on in. Can you picture that? Can you picture that? What would you do? <laughs> Could you? Could you do that? Could you do such a thing? It's crazy. He still welcomes him. He still calls him friend. Okay, everyone. So, I'm Judas of Keriot. Shalom, Judas. Shalom. I saw you before I stepped out to talk to the people. And then I noticed you listening very intently during my sermon. It's wonderful. Thank you. And then Nathaniel briefly told me how you gave us help and how you might be interested in joining us. He's not easy to impress. <laughs> I attended Bet Midrash, but my father passed away before I could pursue a rabbi, so I stayed home to work. I would like to follow you. You would? Very much. I may not be a soldier in battle, but I have business and financial skills that I would like to use to spread the, this ministry far and wide as fast as possible. I, I did attend the Bet Midrash, and I... <laughs> I heard you the first time. I do not require that of my followers. You would actually be one of the few. I, I love that he's trying to qualify himself. He's trying to qualify himself, right? And he's saying... You can even hear how he stalls. And like, I, I would like to spread this, 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 uh, this ministry. And it's like he's making a presentation. <laughs> he's making a presentation. He's trying to sell it to him. And then Jesus just kind of laughs and he's like, I heard you the first time. Like, you're good. I don't require any of that from my followers. Let's go back a tiny little bit right there. Far and wide, as fast as possible. I, I did attend the Beth Midrash and I... <laughs> I heard you the first time. I do not require that of my followers. 
you would actually be one of the few. I only require what other rabbis do, that you seek to be like me. Of course, but that will be much more difficult with me than with other rabbis. <laughs> Are you ready to do hard things? I believe you are going to change the world. And I want to be a part of that. I'm willing to make sacrifices. And I have. I am accustomed to loss. So yes. Yes. I'm ready to do hard things. <laughs> we will see. So, the meaning of your name, ah, ah, God be praised. Yes, with your hands. Will you praise God? Every day. Well, in that case, Judas, follow me. Thank you, Rabbi. Everyone is here, Rabbi. All right. That's, that's good. That's enough. <laughs> well, I just want to thank you all for a wonderful day today. Barnaby Shula, come on in. Uh, did you approve of the sermon? Barnaby. A little long. <laughs> it, was it was wonderful. Well, you all did your part in spreading the word, which is vital to our ministry. And let's especially thank Nathaniel, Thad, and little James for their part in getting us the land and setting this up so quickly. And I know you'll all have them clean up before you go. And I also have a quick announcement to make. A few of you met him earlier, but for those who haven't, this is Judas of Keriot. Judas has just asked me to be his rabbi and to contribute some of his talents to our ministry. A request I was happy to grant. So let's please welcome Judas to the group. Well, been quite a journey these last several weeks. A lot of good work has been done, and there's quite a lot more to do in the future. For now, let's all get some rest, hmm? especially you, Simon. You need to get home. After the joy of having you gone wore off, Eden has actually started to miss you. So you two take a break. Come in. Come, 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 come. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. I, I love. I love this episode. I love this. But sometimes I get a little hint of like Nacho Libre in there because of the accents, right? <laughs> but uh, the way he's like, the way he says, "Come on," uh, it sounds like when Nacho tells the kids, "Like, come on, listen to Ignacio." <laughs> when he says, uh, "Good," you know, sure, it's fun to pal drive someone in. To the face or whatever he says but anyway that's it that's my only nacho joke and we're, we're, we're done <laughs> now you'll all be able to uh figure out amongst yourselves how to stay in touch so we can get together again soon but for now let me pray over you the lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face to you and give you peace. Amen. 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 <laughs> the music is such a beautiful touch. Again. Thank you.
Can somebody please explain who this woman is? Excuse me. You are followers of the teacher, yes? Yes, shalom. Yes, uh, may I speak with him? He's about to leave. We oui, Alar? It's been a very long day. I want to give you this. Uh, I, I don't... Uh, thank you. Uh, what for? Well, it's an offering. There was no collection taken? Oh, he didn't ask for that. This isn't a way to get to speak to him. Is that Shatush? Yes, from Nepal. And you're donating this to his ministry? Yes. And there will be more. And who are you? My name is Joanna. I bring greetings for Jesus from, from someone, so if I could only just have a moment. From who? I come from Akiris. I've spoken with John. Joanna. Okay, Baptizer. Joanna. Andrew, come over here. She says she's spoken with John and Nicaris. When? How? You've you've seen? Yes, my husband works in Herod's court, so I've I've had the opportunity to speak with John since he's been well, since he's been brought in. I I was intrigued by his words. And you've I spoken just... to? Him. Is he okay? What? What did he say? <laughs> so many questions. Your Andrew. Yes. Yes. He mentioned you. You were a follower of. Yes. His... Is he? Is he hurt? No. Well, um, yes. I, it's not a great place for him to be. He's upset some important people. But he wanted you, especially Andrew, to know that he is in good spirits. Can, can I see him? This is Jesus. Yes, of course. I saw your teaching. Hello, Joanna. So, you've spoken to my cousin. Yes. Yes, John has been telling me that I need to see your teachings. When word reached Machiris of this gathering, they didn't think much of it, but John thought it would be a good opportunity. Rabbi, I'd like to visit John. Just a moment, Andrew. <laughs> so, what will you report back to him? That I want to support your ministry. This has been a... <laughs> this has been a healing day for me. As John said, it would be. Thank you. Hmm. Glad to hear it. And John wanted me to tell you that he is eager for you to come to Herod at some point. He believes that, that there is uncertainty in the court about him. And he also says that they are not taking you seriously yet. He thinks that, that a strong visit from you soon could resolve both issues. Uh, but he also wanted to make it clear that he is trusting your timing on soon. <laughs> of course. Thank you for sharing that. Now, so my student here does not grind his teeth into dust. <laughs> John needs to, to receive his attention at the moment. Are you coming to my caris? No, I will be taking some time alone. But if you were able to somehow arrange for Andrew here to safely visit John, I don't. I don't know if that's possible. I suppose that I could make some arrangements. My men are taking me back to Machiris in my carriage shortly. You can join me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi. You need to rest and to trust. And to <laughs> rest and trust. And perhaps after spending some time with John. Message. Be able to do both. Shalom. Shalom. Be safe. Shalom. What's uh, going on? Everything good? We'll leave in a few minutes. Hmm? Who is she? I'm going to go see John. She's, she's from Makarios. Oh, what do you mean? This, this is Rabbi insane. already said. It was all right. She she works in Herod's court. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. You have to go home. I can't let you go alone. I'm going to be Andrew. fine. Andrew. Listen. I'm going to be fine. Thank you. For what? For watching out for me. For everyone. Always have. You're a great leader. And I don't say it enough. So. <laughs> Thank you. Say shalom to John for me. 
Really? Yeah, I mean it. He started all this, introducing you to Jesus, and you introduced me to him. I thank John, and I thank you. I love you. Shalom, man. I love you. Shalom. It's so good that we get to see so many, dy the dynamic between all these relationships, including that one. <laughs> and then there's this. <laughs> Rayma. So uh, did you did you talk to John? Yes, I'll be taken care of. And you're all set with Mary? Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> stop by tomorrow to check in. So awkward. I figured you would. Is after second meal a good time? Hmm. I'll have to see what my plans are. Oh, then I, I can come later. Thomas, I'm joking. <laughs> <It's a joke. laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> Shalom. Uh, shalom. Uh, Thomas. Yes. Um. Yes. Maybe come by after the first meal. <laughs> of course. I just didn't want to bother you. It's been quite a lot of time together lately. Uh, I know. <laughs> I just I hope this time away doesn't become too much time away it won't good shalom <laughs> there's obviously something there right shalom <laughs> <laughs> I love Barnabas. I love him so much. You're out of ink, man. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Are you... Who are you? I'm Jairus. Nice to meet you. I'm Yusuf. Uh, is Neve here? Neve was transferred. I'm the new synagogue administrator. I had no idea. That he was leaving. That I'm so unimportant, no one would mention it. <laughs> <laughs> I would not trouble myself, Rabbi Yusuf. Take it from someone who transferred many times over. The goodbyes are hardest. It seems Neve kept this information to himself to avoid having to say them. You've been around then. Kadesh, Joppa, Hebron, and now... Galilee. Welcome, Jairus. Do you have family? A wife and daughter. And that and I willing, another child on the way. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, Rabbi. And what about your family? I hope to meet them soon. And my family is in Jerusalem. Ah. That must be hard. I'm sorry. I was uncertain how long I would remain in Capernaum. Moving around so much is difficult as well. Your daughter, how old is she? Twelve. It is difficult for her making friends. My wife too, but being isolated brings us closer. And I assure you, it will not prevent me from doing my duty. Of course not. Cyrus. I need ink. You and everyone. We're out? Dry, I'm afraid. I put in a request with the elders. Until then, you may want to try with some of your less um, prolific brethren. Uh, if I did, I'd have to explain what I'm writing. Uh, I'll use my personal stores. Thank you. I enjoy a challenge. 
Rabbi Yosef. Is there something fishy about this guy, Jairus? One of the reasons I've been moved around. I have a propensity for bringing order amidst chaos. Because he seems kind of fishy to me. Upheaval. Unusual events. Word has spread of unusual things happening in Capernaum. Is he a spy? That's an apt description. Are you perhaps writing of unusual things? The most... Yesterday, I saw a sermon by a rogue preacher. I haven't slept since. He was brilliant. Intriguing. Is it to be a historical record? A letter? Are you filing charges? Oh, no, I... I don't know what I'm writing yet, or who I will send it to. I am certain I must document what I am seeing. Huh. Rabbi Yusuf, I have a safe that I use. I call it the cellar. It's where documents go to cool off. You can't imagine how many times our brothers write something they wish they had not sent in the morning. Other documents remain for months. It's locked and... Um, Entirely confidential. Does this sound like a place you might want to store your document? <laughs> I bet the goodbyes were very hard for those you served with, Jairus. I love this type of conversation between people. Direct, indirect. Yeah. More questions than answers. <laughs> to be home even better to be here Ima went back to live with my brothers yeah I know most of the time I had the thought of you here alone all day and night in this moment <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't don't make a noise and maybe they'll go away. <laughs> Hello. <Hi>. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here, Nathaniel? <laughs> Simon, you're looking at me like you want to smash my face with a stone. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I know, I'm sorry. I know you probably want to be alone, but uh, just not from here, and I heard you might have space. Who told you that? Of course we do, Nathaniel. <laughs> Andrew has a flat in the East Quarter. I can tell you directions. I thought about that. It's just... Uh, just one. Well, it's a one-bedroom. Philip and Judith are staying there, and they're practically on top of each other. It'll work out. Would you be opposed to sleeping on the roof? <laughs> I, well, I, I heard you had a spare room that your mom used to stay in. Who's telling you these things? Have you eaten? <laughs> I'm starving. He's like, who's telling okay. you these things? Right. So he could smash his face with a oh, stone. <laughs> yes. Seriously, though? Don't even mind me. Act like I'm not even here. Oh. No, maybe I will go up to the roof. Yeah, it's easy to get to. There's a ladder right outside. Simon, come on. I'm not oblivious. I'll put the pillow over my ears. Nathaniel, <laughs> you can say whatever you want when we're on the road, but in my house, try having a thought you don't say. Hmm? <laughs> or you'll be sleeping in a fish hole. Sorry. Bam, bam, the music. <laughs> Music is perfect. You still want me to go up to the roof? Yes. <laughs> oh, good. This is the place. Nice. Mm. 
love how that song ended at the end it sounded like he was tuning the guitar <laughs> like oh it's that that it's perfect actually because that's that feeling that you get when you're playing a song and it's not sounding the way you want it to because they're that weird awkward off pitch is interrupting you know so you bam, bam, exactly so fitting and i know that some people got uncomfortable with another scene that's coming up um just remember familia they're portraying a married a married couple okay they're not they're not showing what remember that they didn't show what mary magdalene was doing okay they weren't they weren't graphic about that or or even showing that but i think the fact that they're showing how um eden and simon uh how their relationship is and the dynamic there and that they're in love and they're married uh and they're portraying a healthy marriage i, I think it's i think it's i think it's okay i don't have a problem with that and i hope you don't either but slow down what you're not eager to get home yes but you're not the one carrying the axe and the tent poles and the hammer and these bowls shut up <laughs> Let's switch. Okay. There. Why are you in such a rush anyway? Come on. You don't know? What? John, I wake up every morning, and after every nap, having dreamt about just one thing. <laughs> You're going to tell me what, I'll bet. <laughs> Ima's cinnamon cakes. Sounds about right. And you don't? Mm, well, there are the teachings and the sermon we just heard. Have you not seen the miracles he's been performing? Paralytics getting up and walking? I know. It makes me so hungry. <laughs> yes, yes. Come on. Erica, does that remind you of someone? <laughs> you guys going to eat? Thomas, oh, everybody's hungry. Glad to see you found the place. Wasn't easy. He's all, they have Your directions are... What's the word? Bad. No. There was a plan? Well, I figured a guy from the plains of Sharon, a stranger from a strange place, could do worse than Abbas. What? He can sleep in the room where Ima dries the herbs. That's fine. Glad to have you, Thomas. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I guess my mind's been on all this history making while he's been thinking about cakes. What kind of cakes? <laughs> Forget it. Three disciples of Jesus of Nazareth coming to stand on my roof. <laughs> a triple blessing. Abba knew. A triple yeah, blessing. Talk to him. Come on. Of all the fathers in Capernaum, I must be the most envied. <laughs> Hello, Abba. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh. I'd introduce you to Thomas, but it seems you already met. Mm. Thomas? Thomas. He reminds me of my Uncle Felix. <laughs> He's loving like that. He gives you a About giant hug. I have some questions. I have some questions. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would. I tend to overthink things. Hmm. Where is Ima? She ran to market. Realized that the last minute she was out of cinema. <laughs> That's something very important I want to talk to you all about. I think I know it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, real quickly, it. really quickly. I just want to point out something. So, uh, Big James, right? He's, uh, you know, he's walking with his brother, and all he's been thinking about is the future, the cakes, the cakes, right? And little brother's like, uh, he's like, hey, haven't you been thinking about the same thing? He's like, no, I've been in this moment, enjoying this moment, listening to the sermons listening to the teachings, studying here right now. And you're over there thinking about the future, right? And then <laughs> now he gets there and his mom realizes that she doesn't have any cinnamon for the cakes. So again, he's part of that suffering. He's setting himself up for that disappointment, right? Right? Let's continue. I think I know. Mm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Abba. I have nothing in the cupboards. I didn't know when I'd get back, so I gave everything to my friend Rivka. Oh, yeah. 
I know. What? It's tiny. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you sleep here? Yes. And uh, I, I will sleep along that wall. And then Tamar? You can sleep there? <laughs> it's intimate. <laughs> it'll stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will be warm. <laughs> Oh. Maybe, maybe there's some light in here. Please. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, we spent our last shikel. Let's hope this goes a long way. There we go. My grandfather used to say that he would sleep anywhere. He's like, look, from the door in is bed, from the door out is bathroom. <laughs> so go where you want outside of the door and sleep where you want inside the door. <laughs> what is it? Matthew? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? I'm not sure who to or where to um, go. You have a home in one of the most beautiful neighborhoods. I gave it away. To whom? My parents. Do you stop by their house? M my father will not allow it. But you are his son. He, he says I'm not. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that, my heart I'm breaks sorry. for him so much. Thank you for listening. Oh, the pain. Thank you for listening. I think perhaps I'll make camp. I know how to do it now. Are you okay, Matthew? I feel confused. Thank you for asking, Oh, my Alma. goodness. Come on. Is... You're doing really good, Matthew. Oh. Everything's new. Familia, this just reminds me again, the theme of this week. Please check up on the people that, we, that you love the most. Please check up on the people who feel or appear to be okay. Please check on the people who appear to have a lot. Because even though they have a lot, they suffer and they still have problems, if not bigger problems than you do. But they like, you know, they're really good at, at covering it up because they don't want people to feel, feel to see them as failures. They don't have they don't want people to, to feel sorry for them. They want to keep up with that image, you know, and, and it's exhausting for some of those people. It's really exhausting to pretend to be something that they're not or to be to pretend to have things together. And that exhaustion sometimes drives them to do things that are are terrible either to themselves or to others but mostly to themselves so please check up on those people just a simple little question like like how are you doing he says I'm, I'm confused but thank you for asking and then a little encouragement you're doing great like hey like check up on those people you know call hey brother hey sister hey aunt uncle you know just wanted to see how you were doing man um want you to know i'm proud of you i, I just was thinking about you you know, something, something super simple. It goes a, a, a long way, but please check up on the people who, who are either obviously struggling and equally check on the people who, who, ob who obviously have it together because you, you never, you don't know, you don't know that what's behind closed doors. You don't know what their struggles are. You don't know how much they're suffering. You don't know where they're having to pull from to, to piece this other thing together. You don't know how they're, duct taping themselves together just so that they can still be standing you know you could be the next person who gives them another roll of, of duct tape so they can hold themselves or gives them some super glue so they can hold themselves together so please 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 uh, check, check up on the people that you love and and maybe check up on the people you don't love so much either so oh, it's okay to make a mistake it's okay to make a mistake <laughs> and i gotta go back a little bit it's beautiful oh, acting okay, Beautiful acting. Look at his expression. Look at her encouragement. I feel confused. Oh. Thank you for asking, Rama. You're doing really good, Matthew. See? Everything's new. It's okay to make a mistake. Look at his face. Thank you, Mary. Have a good night. Oh. That's wonderful. He's a good man. It's not much, but we'll manage. Is it 
Too early to use the shawl. Yes. Yes, we should not have taken it. She got to you. Well, she was presumptuous. <laughs> Sometimes rich people can be like that. Believe me, I know. I used to work in the wedding business. So who do you think she was? Remember how she struggled with her words? I don't think she wanted anyone to know she was there. That's what I got from her? Yes. Uh, very observant. She was deceptive. Deceptive. But curious. I think she was being cautious but genuine. Ooh. She had on silver earrings. Or it was all talk and we'll never see her again, which is fine with me. Wow. <laughs> giving away shahdush, that's the most expensive textile in the she world. She was trying to help us, Rima. Why don't we just eat? Hmm? Isn't that crazy how the same event, all three of them experienced Joanna, and the same event had three different perspectives, and Mary was very observant in, in what she saw, and Rema is sort of like jumping to all these conclusions, right? It's not good. It's not a good thing to be to, jumping to conclusions. You can say the facts, see, say what you saw, but don't jump to a conclusion. Maybe it's just, you know, she's just saying, this is what I saw. I noticed her about this about her. And the other person saying very definite statements about her without even knowing what's what, right? So, yeah, beautiful. Can't say that I blame you for coming back. We don't get interesting ones down here often. Every day it is something new with him, either demanding we pass a message to Herod or preaching about a new kingdom. His insults are very creative. <laughs> His insults are creative. It will be embarrassing to me if you tell anyone about my visit or my friend being with me. But to you and your family, it will be devastating. Do you understand? A threat and some money. You're never here. <laughs> John? Johnny? Are you all right? What lighting. are you doing here? Who allowed this? No one. We should be quick. I'll be fine. Think of it this way. I've never got to sleep in a palace before. <laughs> Reframing. What are you doing here? <laughs> so worried. Looking at the positive. Praying for you every day. You've got a new rabbi now. The rabbi. The rabbi. Focus on him. And hopefully I'll be able to as well soon enough. She came to me in distress after Herod arrested me. Not for my sake. She was angry I didn't call out her husband's adultery when I accused Herod. She is proving an apt pupil. Did you talk to him? Yes. I told him everything you told me. Thank you, but that's not as important. What do you think of him? Oh. Oh. I don't know how to describe it. Message. Message there. Right? He's saying, I told you a lot of things about him. I told you a lot of things about him. Right? I fed you information about him. I, I described him to you. Right? I told you, to, I gave you a message to give to him, which, which, which is important, but I gave you a message to give to him. He says, did you see him? That was his question. Did you see him? She said, yes. And I gave him, I told him everything you told me to tell him. And he says, that's not important. What matters is what, what do you think about him? What do you think about him? Right? So it it, it kind of tells me, wow, the lighting, sorry, that's my 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 uh my window. So that kind of tells me here. It's like, look, I could I can tell you for days all the things that Christ has done for me. I could tell you how he's blessed my family. I could tell you how he's he's protected me. I could tell you how he's protected my family and blessed my family and how he he's healed our family, how he got me to, to forgive my father to, you know, all these things. I can go on and on and on and tell you everything about it. But the most important thing is for you to experience him. And you tell me what you think about him. You tell me what your experience is with him. 
because what I'm telling you about it is 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 nothing compared to your direct experience with him. And that's what matters. I love that. It's fantastic. We go back a tiny little bit and then we'll finish this off. Oh, there it is. She was angry. I didn't call out her husband's adultery when I accused her. She is proving an apt pupil. Did you talk to him? Yes. Did you talk to him? I told him everything you told me. Thank you, but that's not as important. What do you think of him? Mm. I don't know how to describe it. Like you are grateful for food and didn't realize you were <laughs> That's a perfect example. <laughs> that works. Anything new? So much. Tell me what he said. No, nothing that made sense. Everything backwards. Um, the, the poor, the grieving. Everything the backwards. All elevated. Blessed. Yes. And other things reversed. Love your enemies. Who can love your enemy? He can. What else? The bizarre imagery thing. Something about uh, pearls before pigs and logs in eyes. Yeah, salt. Murder. Rain. God. Feeding the birds. Houses on so sand. He's almost as strange as you, John. <laughs> oh, I wish I were so strange. How many people were there? Thousands. Thousands. Wonderful. Wonderful. What else, John? What can we do for you? How? How can I help? Help? You're helping me by what you're sharing. You know what I mean. They both have a diff different definition of help. Come here. Mm. Don't be afraid. Be anxious for nothing? The prophecies of Isaiah. He has been sent to proclaim liberty to the captives. And what? The opening of the prison to those who are bound. Yes. His prison is nothing now that he is here. Do you believe that? I'm, I'm trying. He's trying. He's and trying in here. In all that he said to those thousands of people, there was something just for you. For what you are going through. There always is. What was it? Something that stuck with you. Don't be anxious. Can, can you add a single hour to your life by being anxious? It sounds like him. See, he's, he turned, he's such a, he's still his teacher, right? And he's turning his attention from the anxiety that he's feeling about him being in prison. And he's saying, wait, 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 focus on his words. What, what was it that he said that stood out? Meaning that this sermon has something for everyone. So I would like to maybe leave it as homework for you all to go back and read the Sermon on the Mount and see if you can take from it the message that's, that's specifically designed to help you in your current situation. And I'd like you to come back into the comment section of this, of this and share that with me. What, what is it that Jesus taught in the Sermon of the Mount that touched you in some way or that encourages you in some way for your current situation? And if you can go into detail, it even better. If you can go into detail, even better. Of course, don't sh share too much information as to, you know, your, 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 the details, intimate details of your family, where you live or anything like that. But if you can share in detail, would love to hear to hear how that sermon moved you or, or affected you in some way. What else? What else? But seek first, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Even more like him. I love that. So if you want to help me, Andrew, if you want to help me, listen to him. <laughs> Go home and do what he says. That's what I want. Got it. Wow. 
I'll let Johanna get you out of here. Just wow. So you don't join me. I love that segment of it. What is that that they kiss at the door? Y Yosef did the same thing, or Yusuf did the, the same thing. Look at that, that's awesome. Beautiful colors. Working hard, I see. <laughs> you see that? See? Look, 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 look. Why do I have a. Oh, beautiful. Sorry. I'm going to pause it for just one quick second. Working hard, I see. And I want you to notice something about, about him. Look at all the colors that he's wearing. Look at her colors. She pops out that purple, right? Look how he just blends to the background. And they're doing that sort of intentionally to let us know that there's really nothing special <laughs> about him, really. He's sort of blending in. There's nothing really that stands or should stand out to him, even though we already know the story. We already know what he does. But he's just plain, right? Doesn't stand out. <laughs> the plant stands out more than he does. <laughs> there's the plant. That's what you said when I joined the mining company. And now you're leaving it. My life can't just be about money. It's never not about money with you. Look, I know you think you would have spent Abba's inheritance better than I have. I would have. That house you invested in has not gone up in value. That's why I'm here. Mezuza? I need you to hold something for me. Well, uh, two things, actually. the deed to my house what i don't know when i'll be back or if i'll be back everyone's been talking about your rabbi you know what are they saying too many things to be true i heard hundreds of people gathered thousands <clears throat> i didn't know it at the time but the day before i helped his disciples secure the site God worked through me, Devorah. That's, that's never happened before. How will you make money? It's the only work you've ever known. I will help with what little they do have. Help find benefactors, supporters. Most ministries and rabbis are inefficient. And this is the most important ministry of our people's history. To spread his message, to build something, to match the Romans. They'll need my skills. Judas, this is dangerous. Yes. Rome does not like popular preachers with big followings. They put them away. I think he's the Messiah. I am almost sure. Her eyes Many just... have claimed to be the Messiah. You know what happens to them? Always the worst case scenario with you. You know, their followers aren't always killed. <laughs> the hesitancy. If he is the anointed one, sister, then he will not be killed. He will defeat the Romans and set us all free. I don't want to lose you, Judith. You're all I have left in this world. You have your husband, your beautiful daughters. No, I mean... You know what I mean. You're the last of our name. Mm. If something were to happen to you, the line of a will be broken and... 
our family name will be forgotten. Whatever happens, I know that Adonai has set me apart for a reason I do not yet know. I have to follow it. Abba and Ima loved you so much. Make us proud. I will. Does anybody have an issue with uh, with with the show portraying him as a character that you can and, uh, relate to? Or will you keep him as a mint plant alive for me, please? Yes. It requires a gentler touch, which I do not possess. Now get out of here. <laughs> you know what? You know what my question is. Your <laughs> they portray they portrayed him as nice. Do you have an issue with that? I really hope you're right about this. I am. You'll see. You know, bearing a son would have been a lot easier than upending your whole life to go on this dangerous journey. Shalom, shalom, Deborah. Shalom, shalom, brother. <laughs> How about Yusuf? Dinos. You wish to play something in the cellar? I agree, Tim. Thank you. Cool off. It's worth a try. Very well. You and I are the only souls who will ever know about this. Rabbi, it is unsealed. Yes, it is, Jairus. Let's uh, pa pause for just one quick second. Um, see, I'm, I'm noticing a couple of things in your comments. So like um, the other 11 didn't know who Jesus was talking about at the Last Supper. Uh, you're saying that uh, here we have a congrats to Argentina. Congratulations, Argentina, on the World Cup. You did an amazing job. <laughs> we um, He was a regular man, made a poor choice, right? I, I think I I'm, I'm with you all. Like somebody said that this is the first show that has only – the only show that's portrayed that Judas had a faith journey, just like the others he had to have had. Right. I don't think Jesus would have allowed him to be his disciples. If he didn't have some sort of religious um, journey or faith. Right. Because if I understand that correctly, um, sometimes, you know, the, the rabbis, they had to, they were very selective of who they would, allow into their group to be able to teach them right um they had to have wanted to at least learn a little something right um and plus how much of the uh, how much about his life is actually written in, in scripture you know um i'd imagine that that um just like everybody else he still had his struggles and money was a thing for him right so he had to have had that temptation still open that window still open for him uh, but, uh, uh, you know, Jesus being the son of God and being all knowing here, I think Jesus knew, I think he knew as well. He had to have known, right? Because in his prayer in John 17, he's, he mentions that, um, he prays for the disciples that not one of them should be lost except for the one that was meant to be lost. So he knew that there was one that was supposed to be that he was going to lose one. He knew he was going to lose one. And I'm pretty sure because he knows, he knows, uh, he knows into the, he can look into the hearts. If he read the mind of the, of the Pharisee when he was healing the man who couldn't walk and he was pretty much saying his words out loud, 
The guy said he was like he was reading my thoughts. If he knows that, he knows what's in the heart of people. So he knows what's in the heart of, of, of Judas. And he saw that he had to be there, right? So um, so there's there's a lot of pieces to it. But I don't have an issue with them portraying him like a likable guy. I mean, he had to have been some some like, you know, he had to have been likable. There had to be human and also spiritual uh What's the word I'm looking for? Traits to him, right? Uh, uh, Andrew's a great character as well. He's struggling with the love that he has for his friend, wanting to break him out, but also listening to his friend because that's also his teacher. And his teacher told him to go and find peace and to not worry about it. And that if he wants to help him, he can help him by listening to what his cousin is saying to him. And that's all he wants. So he has to be a good student and obey that. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, I won't take much time. It's fine. Do you need anything? I just have, I have to, um, I, I want to say something. Uh, in in Rabbi Sermon, he he said to to reconcile with someone first before worshiping, and and I I'm, I need to apologize to you. Wow, that's you big. Yes, me. yes, I do. Mm. I said awful things to you because I was scared. Which Rabbi also talked about talked about many things. I, I have a lot to work on. This is beautiful. He's applying what he but heard. I said awful things to you because I was scared and you didn't deserve it. And I'm I am I'm I'm very sorry. <laughs> so uh, that that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what to say. I think this is the first time anyone has ever said sorry to me. Mary, you don't deserve that either. Man, come on. Things are better now. <laughs> come on. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Thank you for this. Shalom. Shalom. What a beautiful little moment. Oh. <laughs> I love how he comes out of the darkness. Alpheus. Calls him by his first name. Son. Ah! <laughs> Look at his face! Look at it! Look at it! Music swells. Ah! Oh. Episode two tomorrow. Join me tomorrow for episode two as we continue this beautiful journey that we're in. Um... <laughs> this uh this next episode is going to be a, a tearjerker so let's uh let's have some tissues ready <laughs> ready to go because it's going to be it's going to be an emotional one familia so many beautiful things to learn to take out from to to put into action right it's it's not just enough to be able to just see the story and to be moved by it and be like man yeah that's nice see jesus was great and then on on we go we have to start applying these these lessons as well he's they're not just telling a story they're speaking to you he is speaking to you 
And um, I wanted to, to ask you all that if there's anything, any part of that sermon that really moved you, that really spoke to you, that, re that really speaks to your situation at the moment, let me know what that is in the comment section down below. I'll come back and, excuse me, look at some of the messages and then we'll share some tomorrow. We'll read some tomorrow. But I wanted to thank you all so much for, for joining. Thank you to, to Angel Studios for supporting, uh, for being a sponsor of this channel. If you haven't already, please go download the, the, the Angel Studio app and check out some of the other content that they have on there. I, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you and your family can enjoy. Uh, family, I thank you all so much for being here. Um, I, I love every single one of you, and I want to encourage you all to please go out there and do the Christ thing. You know, spread his love, spread his kindness, spread... <sighs> Spread him, spread his love, spread his spirit to other people. If there's someone who you who you're not right with, go make it right. Right before right before Christmas Day, make it right. You know, heal that person, heal yourself. You know, um, so that when you do bring these these um, offerings to God, He can accept them because you, you you're you're not attached to something. You know, so um, so please go go out and do that. I appreciate you all so much for doing. I'm sorry we, we have to rush out here, but I'll see you tomorrow um, at the same time. We'll make it at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Um, and then we'll check out episode two so we can be caught up. And then next Monday, we'll check out episode three after it premieres on Sunday. I'm not going to watch it Sunday. I'm going to watch it with you all for the first time on Monday. So be sure to join us for that. But Familia, um, I'd like to, to, to say that I appreciate you all so, so much for being here. Thank you all so much for your interest in this channel. Thank you for supporting this channel, for loving this channel, for loving one another, for, for growing with me, um, for your love and support, not just with the channel, but for, for your love, the love and support that you offer uh, me, Erica, baby Ezekiel, uh, Luna, Liana, Eve, and my mom and my family as we all go through our, our, our battles. Um, but a big thank you um, to our father up above, who loves us and protects us. May he all shine, may he shine his light on you all. May he, may his spirit of peace enter into your homes, enter into your hearts. That for those of you who have not rested, we may find rest in him. For those of you who may uh, not have had a moment of silence, may, may you be blessed with his silence and be in his peace. Um, I have two good friends who are struggling with something really really hard right now very very hard it's a um, a little bit of darkness entering into their minds and i and i pray father that you that you enter into their mind and give them peace give them the rest that they need give them the clarity give them the wisdom to move forward but not just for them but for anyone who may be lonely in this time for anyone who may feel the weight of loneliness during the, these times who uh find who see and feel the distance between them and their family and their friends. May it all be healed. I, I pray that your light touch and move into their hearts and that they see the need for forgiveness and that they call each one another and forgive one another for their past pains. I ask, Father, that you give them clarity, that you give them uh, the opportunity to grow in you and with you. I, I pray, Father, that you heal the hearts of the broken hearted who have recently lost family members who have lo lost spouses or children or grandparents or grandchildren father help them understand your 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 hand your plan in all of this give them the peace and the comfort that they deserve and that they that they need we we ask this because you know what they need we don't have to ask you for these things but we pray that you that you see that and you hear our hearts and you hear our prayers and that you move in everyone's heart, Father, I ask that you that you relieve people from their pressure of this season as well as they try to find the finances to give their give gifts to other people, to their children, to give their family a good a good Christmas. That they, for the people who are struggling currently right now, to put smiles on their faces of the faces of their children, and who are struggling financially to 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 put food on their table. Father, I ask that you that you bless them in some way that you open some door that you that your spirit just finds a way that you move the right people into their life that they receive something in the mail un, unexpectedly that they find something on on their way to the store unexpected unexpectedly something father but i i really truly pray for the people who are living in the streets currently who don't have a warm place 
for the people who don't have a, a roof over their heads or who haven't eaten in days. Father, I pray that you that you provide for them as well. Do not forget them. Society might forget about them. Society might walk past them and not offer any help, but you, Father, do not forget about them. <clears throat> In your precious Son's name we pray. Amen. Familia, thank you so, so much for being here. Um, we love you. We appreciate you so much, and, and uh, we'll see you mañana. Baby Ezekiel says goodbye as well. <laughs> Can't see Mama's face, oh, she's okay. here. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Whoa, that was great. Yeah. All right, familia. We love you. Yes. Bye bye.